This tree is dead, so being that it's kind of dead and rotten, uh, even all the way down here, um, that was actually where I cut it from. So uh, once you see, uh, it falls all the way down here, and I just can't possibly get my Jeep back in here over that big root ball and stump, and it's about maybe four feet down on the other side. There's no way I can get it, and my toe strap isn't long enough, so how do we do this? I'm basically using any tree to help pull the log straight. So I'm using this tiny little tree. Hey, I'll tell you guys, it's maybe six inches in diameter down at the bottom, but right there it's about three. And the other one's about maybe two inches, not even. Um, so the problem is my toe strap's too small. So what I'm doing is I put, I put it over here and tie it around here, drove straight, used that as like a pulley to help slide the log forward. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So now that I got some more slack in my thing, I'm gonna go all the way down here. And once I do this, it should really help with allowing me to ratchet this long tree from all the way back down in there. And I've just been pulling it little by little by little, and uh, eventually it's going to make its way. Alrighty, I dug out the ground and uh, put my ratchet strap under. I'm going to show you how far it is away. It's a good uh, five feet away from this tree to there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull my jeep forward and that's going to help me extract the log in situations in which you can't possibly get to but you have a long enough strap so i'll put this in drive there it goes reverse all righty all right now you can see it just pulled it up even further. And right here it is. Now it's only about maybe two feet away. So this should be long enough for me to be able to pull on the log and it work and just keep feeding it forward. So I'm gonna do it again. Let's take this off. And then uh, same thing, just turn around and redo it. Redig dig a hole, but maybe I'll redig it down here. Yeah, I'm gonna redig a hole here underneath. Alrighty, I tied it all the way down there to help pull it all the way up to about where the stump is. Should be enough for me to spin it and turn it. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. It's basically like ratcheting it up the hill. But yeah, it's a little more physical than your typical method. And let me zoom in a little. A little. <laughs> All right. All righty. See that? That's beautiful. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now he's back up and do it again until the log gets up high enough off of the bank, cliff area, or whatever. Now, obviously, this uh, isn't designed for your typical, you know lumber company who's cutting trees down but for somebody who has a home and has some property and harvests wood off of their own property and it falls all the way down there when you cut it uh you know there's really no um if fans or butts about it. you're not going to be able to retrieve it unless you either have a really long toe strap and be able to do it or a straight line of sight to be able to get it up over debris and everything else which makes it really impossible when you have other trees so what i did is i showed you it ratchets it and I was only hoping to get it to here, but I actually went past that. So as you can tell, that little tiny tree is enough of a winching point to be able to pull and recover that log out of the woods and into an area in which you could get to it at without having to cut it up into small pieces. Now, as you can tell, it's, it's pretty bad, but uh, it's rock hard and it's cherry. See, nice redwood. Uh, so anyway, that's how I do it. And that's what I'm done um, with this piece. I'm just gonna put it around the top and I'm gonna drag this right home. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little bit. This is Red Hand Review saying peace out.